Hey guys, it's Shay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another Retro Bowl video and welcome to episode 14 of the Wheel of Retro Bowl series. Now, if you missed episode 13, it was a cursed episode. We played with my PlayStation 4 controller. I played a really good game against San Francisco. I was scoring touchdowns every drive. I was up 6-0. We tied the game at 13. I had a 19-13 lead, but San Francisco took a 20-19 lead. I threw a late interception. They got a field goal. I couldn't do anything with 16 seconds left, and we ended up losing 23-19. We also lost due to injury. JT Staley in that game. We had to bench our best three players as our punishment. So we're going to be without Nazare Utah, Darren Grayson, and Ty Shaheen for this pivotal matchup against the Buffalo Bills just before our bye week. But right now we just have to worry about Buffalo. Let's see the game settings we're going to play against Buffalo. We've got one minute quarters dynamic difficulty. And then for our challenge wheel, we are going to be right back on the PlayStation 4 controller again. You guys seem to be a fan of it, and I'd love to get some redemption here. So hopefully I can redeem myself with the controller. So to the settings, you can tell I'm on my controller. One minute quarters. Dynamic difficulty. We're going to meet with the owner, take our coaching credit here. I like 69% morale. It's very nice. If you know, you know. And now we've got a two-star offense, one-and-a-half-star defense, taking on the nine-and-two Buffalo Bills. Oh, my goodness. This is awful. At least we're at home. We get the ball first here. Okay, okay, I do like that. First play of the game, we're going to hit Roberts, and we have our quarterback, Tamu. So offensively, I have all the key players that I really want to have. On our next play, there we go, hit Roberts again. Oh, that's a touchdown. That is a touchdown, baby. Let's go. 46 yards to the house makes it 6-0. Going to go for the extra point. Now, I missed two of these last game. Let's slow things down here. We're one for one, and we're up 7-0. Buffalo with the ball. They punt. That is a benefit of playing on dynamic difficulty coming off a tough loss, is that I do benefit from a lower difficulty. That's not intentional, but you're not going to hear me complain. Sweat with the run. Last play of the quarter. Bounce outside. Oh, run backwards. Oh, get saucy. Gain a 26, and we start the second quarter. First and 10 at our own 26. I think that should be the Buffalo 26. Point being, we're 26 yards from the end zone, and we get tackled at the half-yard line. It's going to try to make a move and get the touchdown. First and goal at the half-yard line. We're going to let Tamu chew some clock here. He's got all day in the pocket. Oh, my goodness, Buffalo. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's let's just run it in. Enough of the boring standing in the pocket. We get the touchdown. It's 13-0. Kick the extra point. It might be wide left. We doink it in, but we're 2-for-2, two two and we're up 14-0. And that's the halftime score. Headed into the second half. Buffalo gets the ball first. They drive. And they get a touchdown. So we head to the fourth quarter. They go for the onside kick. We recover it. We're up seven. We have the ball. We still have a kicker. So we just need to get field goal range, make it a two-score game, and that will be a dub. And I look for Wise on second and five. It's incomplete. Third down coming up. On third down, we're going to throw it, and it's incomplete. Fourth down. I think we're in field goal range. We better be in field goal range. Okay, decent power. The accuracy is there, and it's long enough. It is good from 57 yards, and that should ice the game away. It's 17-7, and that is a victory. Moves us up to 7-6. and six. Still a game and a half behind Chicago, but we move ahead of Minnesota. We move ahead of Dallas, and we keep pace in the division, we're going to praise the team. We're down to 68% morale. Gross. We're up to 71% now. Tamu, 72 yards, two touchdowns. 66 and a touchdown for Roberts. 51 yards for Sweat. 
We'll level up Shaquille Roberts. Let's boost his catching. And now I'm actually going to simulate through the bye week after I spin our rewards wheel. So hopefully we can get this team going really good for our stretch run, our last four games of the season. We have Arizona twice, San Francisco, and L.A., so a lot can happen. So here we are on the reward wheel. We're going to spin it and see what kind of reward we're going to get. Okay, I already got this, the next draft on easy, so I am allowed to respin because I can't go any higher than this, and it's not going to really make sense to have my next two. Okay, this is a new reward suggested in the comments. Shout out to whoever suggested it in the comments. I'll put that comment on the screen if I remember to in editing. I get to skip my next punishment. This is a reward that will last as long as I need it to. It's a pretty nice one. Because what that could mean is that I could just ignore a challenge, intentionally take a punishment, and then skip that punishment. If I've got a must-win playoff game, you might see me do that. I would, of course, like to honor my challenges as much as I can, though. So let's go into our bye week. Let's unbench our players to make sure they get the best benefits. And into our bye week, we can get team experience or fan support. Honestly, I should add more wheels for this stuff, but until I do, I'm going to make the choice I want. I want team experience. We're going to level up Ty Shaheen. We're going to boost his strength. And JT Staley is back. A much better episode 14 than our episode 13. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more Retro Bowl content. In the comments, again, leave your challenge ideas. Let me know what you're thinking of the series. I'm always looking to add to and expand the challenge wheels, the rewards wheels, everything like that. But with that being said, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, MG from Skull Gaming Network. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.